Today I'm going to be reading Chapter 6 of Mummies in the Morning by Mary Pope Osborne. This chapter is titled, The Writing on the Wall. Jack and Annie squinted at the pyramid wall. A series of tiny pictures were carved into the stone. There are four pictures here, Jack told the ghost queen. Describe them to me, Jack. One at a time, please, she said. Jack studied the first picture. Okay, he said. The first one is like this. He's made a zigzag in the air with his finger. Like stairs? asked the ghost queen. Yes, stairs. Just like stairs, she nodded. Easy enough. Jack studied the second picture. The second one has a long box at the bottom, he said. He drew it in the air. The ghost queen looked puzzled. With three long things on the top? Like this, she said, said Annie. She drew squiggly lines in the air. The ghost queen still seemed puzzled. Like a hat, Jack, said Jack. Hat? The ghost queen said the ghost queen. No, more like a boat, said Annie. Boat? Boat? said the, whisk, the ghost queen. She got excited. Boat? Jack took another look at the wall. Yes, it could be a goat, he said. Or a boat, he said. The ghost queen looked very happy. She smiled. Yes, of course, she said. Jack and Annie studied the next picture. The third one is like a thing that holds flowers, said Annie. Or a thing that holds. Or a thing that holds water, said Jack. Like a jug? asked the ghost queen. Exactly, said Jack. Yes, a jug. Jack and Annie studied the last picture. The last the last one looks like a pole that droops, said Annie. Like a carved stick, said Jack. But one side is shorter than the other. The ghost queen looked puzzled. Wait, said Jack. I'll draw it in my notebook. Big, so you can see it. Jack put the scepter and got his pencil. He drew the hieroglyphic. A folded cloth, a folded cloth, said Ghost Queen. Well, not really, said Jack. He studied his drawing. But that is when the hieroglyph is folded in cloth, said the Ghost Queen. Well, okay, said Jack. He looked at the fourth hieroglyphic again. He couldn't see the folded, folded cloth, unless it was like a towel hanging over a bathroom rod. So that's all of them, said Annie. She pointed at each picture. Stairs, boat, jug, folded cloth. Jack wrote the words in his notebook. So, what's the message mean? Asked, so, what is that? So, asked the ghost queen. Come, she said. She held out her hand. Come to my burial chambers. And she floated away. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us.